we have one of my favorite people for over 40 years on WBA, DNS. He was the weatherman, he was the horticulture man. Joe Holbrook said it was. We went to bed and knew about the weather. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Holbrook. Well, I love a rainy night. I love a rainy night. I love to hear the thunder. Watch the lightning when it lights up the sky. Okay, music and you know what makes me feel good? I don't know if I'll be dynamic as the last speaker. That was great. Thank you. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here this evening, but I have to say that one reason that we like very much, my wife Wilma and I enjoy coming here, is the talent. Those young people are great. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Now the word is that Scott Spears is persistent. There's no question about that. Uh, I forgot how many emails I received from him just to make sure that we knew this was going on. But I want to tell you something else. Charities are having a rough time in this day and age. Due to government controls, competition, Charities, it's very difficult for them right now. But thanks to people like Scott Spears who get this ball rolling and who are persistent to keep it going. Don't you all agree with that? <laughs> Scott's gonna be with us just a second here to read some of the information about uh, Fritz the Night Owl, which I, I really don't need because I did work with Fritz for the time that he worked with us. And uh, one thing that I have to say about Fritz is that he did so many voiceovers. He was the voice behind documentaries, behind commercials, behind station breaks, and thank goodness we have some new young people like Scott Spears and the other people working here tonight who will be replacing people like Fritz the Night Owl, Doug Adair, and myself. So it's great to be with this crowd. Would you like to uh, give us some information about uh, Fritz the Night Owl? I can do that. Well, Fritz the Night Owl was actually a legendary figure in Columbus television. He was on for many years. He still hosts a jazz radio program to this day. He, was, he worked with Flippo the Clown. He worked with Joe Holbrook. He worked with everybody at WBNS. He's won Emmys. How, five Emmys, Fritz? Five Emmy Awards. It's unbelievable that he's here tonight. Joe, do you have anything else for Fritz? Oh, I sure do. There we go. Yes. Uh, to talk about Fritz the Night Owl, I want to talk about Forrest Gump. Now, that may seem a little strange. Forrest Gump, uh, there's all kind of new technology in the movies and in television, but Forrest Gump sort of stands out in my mind where, as an actor, he put himself in the scene with famous people, such as John F. Kennedy, Elvis Presley, all the different ones. Well. This is called the Pioneer Award that's going to Fritz tonight. But I want to tell you, Fritz was doing that kind of technology long before we ever heard of Forrest Gump. He would put himself on the Hollywood sign. He would talk to people in the movies. He would make snide comments about how bad the movie was. I mean, you can't do that, but he did, and people loved it. He was hilarious. And he really was a pioneer with technology and brightening up the evening movie, originally called Armchair Theater, then called Night Owl Theater, and then there was a famous Chiller Theater. Fritz the Night Owl, it's my pleasure to award you this Pioneer Award, and maybe you'll have <laughs> Uh, as Joe
show and I saw it by speaker, I waved up to the stage. I reminded of a comment Betty Davis once made, and that is getting old ain't for sissies. But uh, it's been a delight. First of all, I want to thank uh, Scott and his committee uh, for inviting me here to Marion to uh, receive this award, the Pioneer Award, Joe. As a pioneer, maybe I should get a, 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 um, a Davy Crockett hat with a, you know, really look like a pioneer. Oh, speaking of the glasses, yeah. Uh, what you're getting now is Fritz Perenboom um, person. And, but this is probably what uh, a few of the older of you <laughs> may remember. I must say that uh, when I started in, in television back in 1954, that uh, one of my mentors was uh, Joe Holbrook and Joe's compadre, the late, great Bill Pepper. When they found out that I was interested in radio and TV, uh, it was Bill Pepper News at 11, Joe Holbrook Weather at 11.10, and uh, Marty DeVictor, or jo uh, the, the sports guy right. for the, dis uh, CJ. Marty yeah, no, but the Italian uh, guy, Earl Flora, Earl Flora mm -hmm. Sports. Well, anyway, Bill Pepper and Joe Holbrook used to stay after work, after their show, to give me announcing lessons. And uh, I learned a lot from them, and I, to this day, I still thank you for the assist you gave me in, in the career. You know, it's kind of an interesting thing that uh, when you're doing, and Flippo and I used to talk about this a lot, when you're doing a show like that, we realize, A, we're having fun, we can't believe we're getting paid for doing something we love so much, and we always try to do our best, but we never really realize fully just how much it means to the people that are watching it. I always figure that what I did was sort of like uh, you've, g you've got a great pie, you've got meringue on the pie, and then you've got the sprinkles. And I just sort of figured, well, what I do is sort of like sprinkles on the pie. They're nice to be there, but you don't really need them. But uh, over the years, I found out that uh, keeping people up late at night with the Godzilla and Elvis and Hump Bogey and uh, Bacall and the Duke and Dean Martin and Frankie Avalon and uh, Annette Funicello. Channel 10 had a great movie package, so it was real easy to do the job. Uh, so I do want to, again, many thank uh, all of you who are old enough to remember my show and uh, probably for some of you, your parents or your grandparents told you about the show, which ran from uh, 74 to 91. I started in radio in 1959 in Columbus, and uh, it was powered by steam back then, but uh, compared to some of the people with uh, WMRN, I'm still a kid in radio, but I love it immensely. Also want to congratulate all of the talent we've had here tonight. Uh, they were just all so terrific, and uh, that skill and the talent and the singing and the dancing, whether they go on to big things in showbiz or other things, this talent is going to be a friend of theirs for life, and it's something that they're always going to appreciate, the fact that they did it, they can do it, and uh, that they had it, and they made a lot of people happy here tonight. So for all of us, uh, many, many thanks for the award. Many thanks for asking me. Scott, many thanks for uh, inviting me. Joe, uh, for coming out and saying such good things. There's a lot of stories that you didn't tell. I thank you for that. And uh, again, thanks for everybody. Uh, see you tomorrow night, same time, same tower. <laughs>